Let's look at the first question. Which of the following methods would be most appropriate for predicting the future inventory needs of a store to meet customer demand based on historical sales data and other influencing factors? And then we have four options, a cluster analysis, B linear regression analysis, C time series analysis, D logistic regression analysis. To solve this question, the first step is to understand the purpose of each method and then eliminate the ones that clearly don't fit. Logistic regression is for binary outcomes, so it's out. Cluster analysis is for grouping data, not predicting, so it's also out. This leaves us with two options, time series analysis versus linear regression analysis. Time series analysis is more specific to time-dependent data, but doesn't consider multiple factors like regression does, so it's less ideal here. For predicting a continuous outcome based on multiple factors, linear regression is most appropriate. Let's revisit the question and determine whether it asks for a prediction of a continuous variable like inventory levels or a classification like categories or clusters. Linear regression fits the requirement for continuous prediction. Let's take a look at each option one by one. Cluster analysis is a method that groups similar items together. For example, it might group customers with similar buying habits so that businesses can better understand their needs. Linear regression analysis is correct because linear regression is specifically designed to model the relationship between a dependent variable, in this case, future inventory needs, and one or more independent variables, such as past sales data and other factors. It allows for predicting a continuous outcome, which is ideal for estimating the number of items needed. While time series analysis could be used to predict future values based on past trends, it is generally more focused on analyzing data points over time without incorporating multiple independent variables as regression does. It's more specialized for analyzing temporal patterns, not necessarily for a broader analysis involving several influencing factors. Logistic regression is used to predict binary outcomes, for example, yes-no, true-false scenarios. However, logistic regression is not suitable for predicting inventory levels, which is a continuous variable, for example. It might predict whether a student will pass an exam based on their study habits and attendance. If you still have doubts, let's understand this one more time in simple language. If you want to predict the future inventory needs of a store based on historical sales data and other influencing factors like holidays, promotions, or whether regression analysis would be the most appropriate method, it allows you to consider multiple factors to make a more accurate prediction. If you are only looking at historical sales data over time without considering other factors, time series analysis would be a good choice. Using these steps, we can logically deduce that answer B, linear regression analysis, is the correct answer.